Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily export SVG files from within Fusion 360. So you can use this for example uh, when you want to combine 3D printing and laser cutting uh, for a project. And I have a project like that over here, uh, which is this project uh, where I'm going to build something with a sliding axis uh, over here. Uh, this part has to be sliding up and down. And uh, this is going to be partly laser printed, uh, sorry, 3D printed and partly laser cut. So this uh, part over here and this part over here, that are the parts that I'm going to laser cut. While this is going to be 3D printed, this is going to be 3D printed, and this and this are going to be 3D printed. And some other parts are off-the-shelf parts that uh, I'm going to buy. Now, to export the SVG files uh, from within Fusion 360, there is a very handy plugin. And you will find that in the Utilities tab. So normally you are working in the Solids uh, tab, but we are going to the Utilities tab. And now here you see this plugin. But in your Fusion 360, most probably you won't find it. So what you have to do is you have to go to the add-ins here in the utilities tab. So you go to add-ins and then the Fusion 360 store. And then it opens a browser. And in that browser, you can scroll down. Uh, of course, you have to select Fusion 360 first, sorry. Then you can scroll down and under the most popular app, you will find the Shaper Utilities. And these are the utilities that you are going to download. So uh, you can click here, it's a free app. Uh, it will install in your Fusion 360 and after it's installed, you can use it. So I already did this. And then you will have this sign over here. Now, when I click this, the Shaper utilities will be opened and that's what you see here. Now, I already told you that this is the part that I want to uh, laser cut, but also this is a part that I want to laser cut. And as you can see, it's not possible to select both of them. And that is because we have to set another function first bef before we can do this. And that is we have to go into the advanced settings and where it says single body, so the single solid body, we have to change that to solid bodies layout. And uh, that's the input type that we are changing. And now we can click here and we can also click on this one. And now we can export two bodies. So what we can do now is click OK. And then we have to, uh, yeah, we have to tell where we want to save it. And as we save this, this will be one giant file that we can import in our laser cutting software. It will be one giant uh, SVG file. Therefore, it can be handy not to select both. Uh, what I did, and I think that's easier, but I, I showed you that for small parts you can do this, uh, but I think it's easier uh, if you click here and then select the single solid body, this one, is going to be laser cut. I click OK. I give it the name and export it as an SVG file, as you can see over here. Uh, I already did this, so I'm not going to do it again. And then for the bottom part, I'll do the same, because then it are two separate files that I can import in, uh, for example, Lightburn or any other software that you are using for your laser cutter. So this is the way how you can easily create uh, SVG files from the part that you are working with. And the fun thing is that uh, when you open uh, Lightburn, for example, which I've got over here, uh, that then you can open these files, uh, you can import them, and it will be in, I think you get, it will be in my C drive. Now here you can see I've got a few uh, SVG files and uh, the wooden top and the wooden base are uh, the parts that I'm looking for. So I can open both 
boom, and here they are. So I've got this file and I've got this file. Now, the, the machine you are seeing over here uh, is not big enough for that because this is a very small machine. But if I go to a bigger machine, then of course it will fit. And I can, oh, I can select one. Uh, that's this one. I have to group them. And now I can easily place it wherever I want and then laser cut it. So this is the way how you can very easily uh, yeah, create SVG files from within Fusion 360 and then use them in your laser cutting software. Now, if you think this is an, yeah, a good video, uh, then please like and subscribe. And if you do so, then in another video, I will tell you what this is going to be because it's going to be something nice and the files will be available. So uh, yeah, please like, subscribe and follow me on my journey to make this. See you later. Bye.